Offense wins games, but defense wins championships. Buff Nation, what up? BWB, my bandwagon buffs. What it is, what it does, and what it's gonna be. It's your man's Harry Billion. I'm here to give you the predictions for our starting defense as according to Tony Casolo at the Buffalo's Wire at USAToday.com. You are new around here, you're new to this face, or you've seen my face several times, but you just haven't clicked that subscribe button. We're on our way to 5,000 subscribers. This is the campaign. This is the push to get the 5,000 subscribers please do me a favor if you like the content please hit that subscribe button guys and please make sure to give the thumbs up if you like the video i'm sure somebody else that you know may like the videos please share the video with your friends your family members your co-workers thank you so much and please don't forget that look right here we have coach prime and buff nation merch the amazon storefront is live click on that link right there that you see right here to get your buff nation coach prime merch at this point even though i only been here for a couple of months now i got tips coming into my tips hotline so on the screen, you will see hot tip for trpsports at gmail.com. That's the email. I'm now getting tips. And then I also now have communication with some of the people writing some of these things. I'm blessed to just have that information. So enough of that. You know what time it is. Let's work. There is a widely known quote by many coaches that says, offense wins games, but defense wins championships. Coach is always preaching discipline. It's going to boil down to discipline. The most disciplined team is going to win that game. Mahomes runs the ball to try to get a first down he's already out of bounds he's giving up the play he said okay i'm done then the defensive player from the other team comes and pushes him toss him out of bounds whenever that happens it's a 15 yard penalty 15 yard penalty that's added to the end of that run so he got close enough where the kicker's job was going to be a lot harder to do but because of that 15 yards that was added to the end of that play mahomes helped his team to get to the super bowl because of that undisciplined player coach prime always preaches discipline discipline helps to win football Football games. I believe I said this in another video. It's worth reiterating or repeating. Discipline is going to win games. Whichever defense stopped the run, it's going to win the game. It's going to boil down to those little nitty gritty things that coach preaches all the time. Discipline starts way early before anybody gets on the field. You have to first establish that because you can't scream discipline into anybody. Discipline is something that you establish early into somebody's life. You set the boundaries early. If your child is not aware of a boundary, they're going to cross that boundary because they're not aware of it because you didn't establish that boundary so when they cross it this is not the time to start yelling at them and saying why are you doing that a lot of us parents do that all right and especially us african parents african parents don't have the temperament for mistakes african parents are yelling parents okay i know every parent yells but african parents are notorious for yelling we establish boundaries but sometimes there are unspoken boundaries that we just expect the kids to know and then when they cross those boundaries we start yelling don't come for me african parents you know we are screamers i am definitely a screamer but then i have to understand okay maybe i didn't establish that let me go ahead and establish that now and then going forward i don't have to yell i can just tell you did i not tell you this so yeah so when it comes to coach prime coach prime is always making sure that the discipline starts way before the game starts where do you sit in class you sit in the front of the class how are you going to dress are you just walking around looking sloppy are your shirts ironed how do you present yourself when you wake up do you make up your bed we're going to send coaches to your room to make sure your bed is made up almost like a military type of thing discipline starts there practice these things these are things that's going to help you to become a man because when football is not here no more when there are no more coaches screaming at you when none of this is happening anymore these are things that's going to stay with you it's going to make you a man all of this is part of the defense this is how you win games all of that's going to start 201 days before kickoff discipline starts way before the quarterback says hike coach prime has no problem sitting a kid down i don't care how good you are i don't care if you're Kramani mclean travis hunter if you disrespect one of your professors if you disrespect any of these ladies that are in this coaching staff if you disrespect any of the men that are here trying to help you to become a man i will sit your dusty behind down on the bench and you will not play and i do not care if there's a recruiter looking for you from the nfl i don't care this stuff is more important than the nfl you have to learn discipline because when football is over for you these are the things that's going to stay with you when nobody's yelling at you to get up anymore when nobody's pushing you to do those reps when nobody's telling you hey wake up and get your body in shape when nobody's telling you that discipline Discipline is what's going to help you to guide your life. This is the defense to all of the offensive things that will come into your life and try to derail you in your life. And that's what Coach Prime is preaching. Coach Prime is always preaching discipline. So guys, keep that in mind as we go over our defense and the starters that Tony Cosolo at the Buffalo's Wire has predicted for us today. And guys, sometimes I'll be reading fast and sometimes I may stumble over a few words. Just charge that to my public school education, not my heart. Predicting Colorado football's 2023 defensive starters on Monday. 
Monday, we projected who will line up as starters on the Colorado Buffaloes offense in 2023. Now, let's look at our predicted starters on the defensive side of the ball. 2022 was a rough year for the defense, especially when it came to stopping the run. To say that the Buffs have reloaded on defense would be an understatement. Coach Deion Sanders has revamped the roster with more than 20 new defensive players and a star-studded coaching staff that includes defensive coordinator Charles Kelly, a former Alabama assistant who is widely regarded as one of the nation's top recruiters. Not all of us here BWBs are football people. So the way that I present it, I'm going to put a line right here and I'm going to line up the defense with the positions and the player's name so that we can learn why I do this. Meet our way too early defensive starters for the 2023 season. Yes, it's 201 days left. So yes, that's way too early. So according to Tony Casola at the Buffalo's Wire, the strong side defensive end will be Shane Cooks. So who is Shane Cooks? Let's learn who Shane Cooks is. So this one is coming from the 247 Sports. This is for recruiting guys. So this information may be outdated because this is usually from high school but Shane Cooks he went to see Julian High School in Dayton Ohio he's a defensive line 6'4 220 pounds I'm sure he's stocked up a little bit got more muscles guys the person that lines up on the strong side all right so the, on the strong side defensive end is going to be the person that lines up on the side of the tight end the tight end side is called the strong side because that side of the field has an extra blocker when they are positioned there most runs in football are towards the strong side of the formation as running towards the strong side puts more blockers between the runner and the defensive line so that's how you have the strong side they're going to have extra blockers there so you want to make sure that you have your strongest person according to Sony Casolo Shane Cooks kind of fits that bill as far as strong side is concerned Shane Cooks played the five technique for Darman I see him as a run stuffing defensive end on base downs who can pinch on passing downs to generate an inside pass rush all right the next one we're going to move on to the defensive tackle Leonard Payne Jr. Leonard Payne Jr. is a defensive lineman he's six 3, 308 pounds from Los Angeles, California. He went to St. Pius and St. Matthias Academy. So remember guys, that was high school information. Information could be much different right now. All right guys, given the time, can really do research on giving you all of that information. Tony says, I see Fresno State transfer Leonard Payne Jr. holding down the defensive tackle position. Payne was a huge addition to the team and he'll provide more than just depth on the defensive line. The next position we have is the nose guard. That's Jalen Semi. So the nose guard is going to line up on the defensive line opposite the center. The nose guard pushes into the defensive line to disrupt or stop a play in the opponent's field or tries to keep the offense from gaining yardage on running plays. A nose guard is only used in a 3-4 defense. Three defensive linemen and four linebackers. Jalen Semi has gone through a lot since signing with the Buffaloes in 2017, but I see him holding down the nose guard position one last time in Sanders' first year with CU. The next position we have is the weak side defensive end that's Jordan Dominic all right what do we have for Jordan Dominic from 247 sports Jordan Dominic was a three-star recruit came in as an edge rusher 6'3 245 pounds from George W Jenkins senior high school from Lakeland Florida please keep in mind this is high school information guys he's probably got more muscles now bigger and badder CU received a huge boost in the pass rushing department when Jordan Dominic joined the herd. Dominic wreaked havoc in the SEC last year, accounting for 7.5 sacks. All right, so that's the weak side defensive end, Jordan Dominic. The next one is the linebacker. That's going to be Levante Bentley. Even though it's T-A, T-A is not tough. Don't mess with that guy's name. It's not Levante Bentley, okay? It's Levante Bentley. I heard him say, so we're just going to go with Levante Bentley. That's what he said. That's what I'm going with. I figured it was that. We're not trying to give no side eyes in the locker room. You know how locker room talk is. Well, some of you do, not all of you. All right, guys, so again, Fonte Bentley came in from high school as a four-star recruit. He's a 6'4", 233 linebacker from Jackson Olin, Birmingham, Alabama. This is old information, old high school information. Kids have grown up. They've put on a lot of muscle. They're now going to be hitting hard because this is football. Levante Bentley will finally get the chance to enter the starting lineup consistently after playing in 40 career games with only two starts at Clemson. During his time with the Tigers, he recorded 73 total tackles, 11 points five for a loss and 5.5 sacks he was not appreciated at Clemson he's ready to prove himself ready to do his thing on that line you know what I'm saying he's ready to be that linebacker coach prime sees a dog in Levante Bentley coach prime is ready to bring that out you got to understand for some of these bigger programs you're going to bring some kids in all of them are dogs so dogs are always going to be competing for position so one dog over another somebody got the start you may have two dogs on the line but this dog barks just a little hard, hard a little bigger so it's not 
Now that we got some scrub coming off the line, I don't believe that Coach Prime is going around trying to recruit scrub. Maybe he was just a backup to a bigger dog, to a dog that had just a bigger bark. Coach Prime knows how to find dogs. He has a special eye for talent because he himself played the game, was on that defense, and he knows guys that may have been riding the bench who may have been his backup. He knew that he was just a little better, but he knows that if you put this guy in, if I get hurt and this guy takes my place, I know it's going to be a problem for me to get back on that field. Coach understands that very well. So when he's recruiting, he looks at some of these tapes. He's like, that's a dog. I know that's a dog. You know, with his fingers, with his interesting fingers. DD, don't get up in here and thinking like, oh, so he's recruiting some scrubs. Just because the guy was a backup, coach is going to bring that, argh, that bark out of him. Just go watch that sold out spring game on ESPN and I guarantee you, you're going to see that dog come out and start barking. Rawr, rawr, rawr. We got another linebacker. We got Damari Kennedy. According to 247 Sports, here is Damari Kennedy's information. He was a four-star recruit from Theodore High School in Theodore, Alabama. Linebacker, 6'3", 215 pounds. Deion Sanders wasn't the only one bringing Louis luggage. Charles Kelly was able to bring in a dynamic linebacker from Alabama. And as a PSA, the Buffaloes fan, we are making this a thing. Yes, for sure, okay? If he wasn't already getting a bag, I hope Coach is getting a bag from Louis Vuitton. They can pretend oh we don't need the advertising we're doing fine over here yeah right okay whatever stop playing with me wink wink give that man his bag so the safety linebacker miles slusher whenever i hear slusher i'm like Ooh, that sounds like he's gonna be putting some hits on some people so here is Miles slusher's high school information according to 247 sports came in as a four-star recruit from Broken Arrows High School. The city was Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. He was a 6'485 pound safety. Colorado would be playing a number of defensive backs next year in the 4-2-5 alignment. So in the 4-2-5 alignment, Miles Slusher plays a key role. So what's the 4-2-5 alignment? Harry B, explain that to us. So the 4-2-5 alignment, the 4-2-5 defense is a defense with four down linemen, two linebackers and five defensive backs. In a 4-3 defense, there are three linebackers Backers, the 4-2-5 defense allows a defense to keep for the majority of the time six in the box. Slusher dealt with injuries last season but showed play making ability in 2021. Totaling 50 tackles, 33 solos. That means he did it by himself. He didn't get no help. Like, yo, back up. He waved them down. He was like, nah, nah, nah. I got this. Let me handle this by myself. He did that 33 times with three tackles for a loss and 0.5 sack. At 0.5, he was like, hold up. You're not going to get him. Let me help you out. But make sure we get this guy down so he don't score. So you got I have the credit for that. The next position we have is another safety in Trevor Woods. According to 247 Sports, here's the high school information for Trevor Woods. He came from Taylor High School, came in at the safety position. At the time, he was 6'1", 190 pounds from Katy, Texas. He was a three-star recruit. Tony says, I predict Trevor Woods would be one of only two starters from last year's squad to lock up a starting position in 2023, and he more than earned it. Woods played all over the field last year, tallying 66 unassisted tackles 84 total tackles two tackles for a loss eight third down stops two forced fumbles five pass breakups and one interception so if you're feeling hungry right now because of my accent you're probably hearing tacos i apologize my liberian accent is strong sometimes the next position we got is another safety guys we got cameron selman craig according to 247 sports he came in at the safety position at 5 11 186 pounds from high school that would be trinity christian high school in cedar hill Texas. He was a three-star recruit. So here's the stamp. On Tuesday at 10.40 a.m., I said, good day, Tony. The people are loving that prediction you put out on the office. Hmm, all right. Would it be insider trading if I asked whether or not you're working on the defense? The people want to know. Ha, ha, ha. He writes back and says, ha, ha, yeah. Probably will have it done today. So Tony dropped it on Thursday. It was available for everybody to see. So I'm sure there's a couple of channels that have already done that. After reading it on Thursday, on Friday, I reached out to Tony. And I was like, yo, Tony, I say, I see you got shot over riding the bench on your prediction. Any reason why? Tony says he actually hasn't committed yet. I mentioned that in the Cameron section. And yes, he actually did mention that in the Cameron section. I didn't read it closely. This is a position that could change if Shiloh Sanders comes to see you. So for all of you guys who are going to fry me in the comments, don't come for me. I'm just trying to let you know that this is a prediction and Shiloh's not there yet. This prediction is based on the current players that are actually there. Shiloh, I believe he has to graduate from Jackson State. Once he graduates from Jackson State and is able to commit to see you get into the program, start practicing with the team, then maybe some of these predictions are gonna change. But keep in mind, these are early, early predictions. 201 days away, that's a lot of time for things to change.
people are being recruited. These kids are gonna get into practice and show their dogs and show their bark. Once they get there and show their bark, some people might be replaced. Coach is trying to win and keep his legacy intact. He is not loyal to just any one player. Coach, even if it's his sons, coach is still trying to win. If your son is laying an egg, you're not gonna ride and die with your son. If they're laying an egg, you gotta get subbed out. You're not having a good day. Let me put Cameron in. Let him come and do his stuff. The W matters more than that child because that child, listen, you're gonna be fine. Daddy got money. You're gonna be okay. I'm gonna protect you. But if you're laying an egg, I gotta make sure that that egg don't get fried and somebody tried to eat that egg. No, nope. we gotta get somebody else to give it a shot. It's all about the W, guys. For now, I am going with former JSU Tiger, Cameron Silman Craig. Silman Craig was a first team all swag performer in 2022. This one comes at no surprise. The next position we got is cornerback. Cornerback position is gonna be Travis Hunter. Coach already said that. Most of you guys already know Travis Hunter, so I'm gonna bore you. But yes, I gotta inform our new people who may not be familiar with Travis Hunter. Here is his high school information according to 247 Sports. Travis Hunter was a five-star recruit. All of the stars are filled in from Collins Hill High School from Suwanee, Georgia. He came in as a cornerback. He also plays offense. So his height is 6'1", 165 pounds when he came out of high school. Things may have changed. Maybe he got a growth spread. I don't know what he is right now. This information is not updated, but that is our Travis Hunter. Welcome for those who don't know that guy. Yes, he is a monster. He's a problem, and he's definitely going to start. Coach is like, listen, I ain't got to be politically correct. If we got a dog in the house, it is what it is. The dog is going to start. Same thing I just said. According to Tony, Coach Sanders said it himself on National Signing Day. Travis Hunter was brought in to start for the Buffaloes. You will see him on both sides of the ball, but he will for sure. Sure, lock down one side of the field as a starting corner next season. The next position we got, a lot of you already know this guy. We made a lot of noise about this guy. He was all over TV. He committed on a million dollars worth of game with Giddy the King and Wallow, his cousin. A lot of you already know Kwamani McLean, but this is his high school information. I'm going to board some of you, but please, I got to also inform the newcomers who don't know this guy. If you do not know who Kwamani McLean is right now, at this moment, you are the last person person to find out i will appease you kwamani mclean comes from lakeland florida went to lakeland high school he comes in as a cornerback he's a 6'2 165 pounds yes he's a little bit light but that boy can eat a little bit of food eat some steak lift some weights and put on some weight so that he don't get knocked around in that p5 conference he comes in at a four five star okay he has all his stars forget about what on three said about dropping a star he is a five star recruit according to 247 sports coach prime don't really care about these stars anyways a dog's a dog if the boy can play he can play we got the other five star signee from this cycle he gives the buffalo a dynamic duel at the corner position yes he is only a true freshman but he will get early playing time for the team you gotta play a dog man it doesn't matter if he's coming from high school if the boy can play he can play put him on the field it's all about the w we ain't got time to be playing games there are some old school coaches that still have that weird mentality you're gonna get some kids at some of these programs that they're not getting playing time even though the junior or the senior they're kind of laying an egg but because the coach feels like he promised the mom or the dad playing time the nfl coaches are watching teams are watching his senior year or his junior year and they're almost out of here so they're going to try to get playing time and guess what a lot of kids are going to be sitting around with nothing to do they're going to feel bored and they're going to feel disenfranchised they're going to feel like their talent and their value is not being uh, appreciated and used and we're going to be right there to scoop them up in the spring portal yes in the springtime that portal is going to reopen Open. Kids are not going to be playing. They're going to feel some kind of way. We're going to be right there. Coach already said that. Tony Casolo is giving us an extra, guys. Nico Reed. Who is Nico Reed? According to 247 Sports. Let's find out. Nico Reed came in as a three-star recruit from a row Catholic high school at Hayward, California. Nico Reed came in at 5'10", 160 pounds. He came in listed as an athlete. And please remember, whenever a recruit is listed as an athlete, either the recruit recruiter at the time did not know the specific position or the athlete could play multiple positions so they usually just add ath as athlete if the position is undefined or there are multiple positions so according to tony nico reed was arguably the buffalo's best defensive player from last year's team and he should continue to get a lot of playing time defenses are in the nickel more and more to adapt to spread offenses and reed could start on occasion in those packages so whenever they spread out the offense put more wide receivers on the field and try to spread that that offense up according to tony nico reed is really 
good in those packages. So whenever you see that spread out offense, make sure to watch out for Nico Reed. He may be in the game. Nico Reed was the extra. And then we have a bonus. Mark Vassett will start at punter. So Louisville transfer Mark Vassett will bring some much needed stability to the Colorado Buffalo's punting situation. In two years at Louisville, Vassett averaged 43.2 yards per punt. So there you have it, guys. That is our defense. Please remember that defense is going to win the game. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Harry B. Thank you for watching the Liberian Perspective. That's TRP Sports Club. Bra